once what you can go back to your normal VCs and then when the game's finished head back into back into the stream VC good luck All right, and we are live. Uh, this today we're playing Team Three, which is Boys in Blue versus Team Four, Team Fern. Both of these teams yesterday playing their first matches, um, both won against against their opponents. So this is two winning teams up against each other. To be honest, um, a few star players on both teams. We've got. Of course, Big Puppy, aka Flipper, who played extremely well. John E is now back, their team captain. Uh, we're looking at, they've got one support, unfortunately, um, and they've got J Shub as well, who was another star player yesterday. For Team 3, Boys in Blue, you've got Shaded, JB, their team captain, playing as a tank. We've got Han Solo, uh, I believe that's Paddington. Touch of uh, Reapers died. I'm guessing here, but I'm not too sure this one is. Oh yeah, and of course we've got Mid Curry as well, so he hasn't played for a while to be honest. Uh, but we'll see what how he's playing today. We got Duck as well on his debut match. So this is a payload mission. Um, it's gonna be two rounds to see who's which team can get the payload the furthest. No one can hide. Team Red is Team Three, which is Boys in Blue, and Team One, which is in Blue, uh, is Team Fern. Shaded with a cheeky five player kill streak. And they've got the payload secured. Oh, you're dead! Victory from your grasp! 
So to be honest, seeing the first two minutes of this gameplay, um, Team Fern have really been held in, holding them back. And even though they've secured the payload, Team Boys in Blue, um, haven't had much progress within the last 45 seconds. But it could change up and they could clutch it back, who knows. Two kills, they've got the, the tank killed and also the support. Big Pappy's on low health, looking at Jonty. He's just been respawned as well. And they're moving with the payload. It's looking good for Boys in Blue at the moment. One minute and 50 seconds left to get to the next checkpoint. We've got a few fans as well in the in the comment section supporting the boys in blue. Love to see it. Love to see it. And they're on overtime right now, so it's the final little push from Boys in Blue to see if they can get the payload to the next checkpoint to secure some more extra time. Fingers crossed, it's coming up to it. Last couple of meters, will they secure it? And they've got it, so they've got another extra 1 minute 30 seconds in the bag for them. Have a look at Jay Shub and see how he's playing. So with the spawns moving, they haven't had much luck to get the get the payload to move from the second checkpoint or second checkpoint, first checkpoint. Sorry. Twenty seconds remaining. And it looks like that's it from the push for the payload. Oh, 
Johnny with a 10 player kill streak. No, it's, it's, that's a team kill. Lovely stuff. So team Boys in Blue have secured two points at the moment. Distance of 31 meters as well. Let's see how the next round goes for Team Fern to be attacking. JB's trying to keep an eye on them to make sure that they're spread out fairly well to keep a whole, to keep a strong Five, defense on them. Let's see how this one plays out. Activating the barrier. That's pretty much a team kill right there. Hello. So they're about to secure the point straight away within the first, what, 45 seconds? <laughs> and that's it, they've bagged themselves an extra two minutes on top. Final stretch to see if they can reach to the other side for the first checkpoint. Do not provoke me. She's gonna blow. No one can hide from my sight. <laughs> When it's a strong push, they're nearly half, they're pretty much halfway there. They got four minutes, thirty seconds left to get this secured. Plenty of time. Four minutes remaining and they're literally round the corner from their check final checkpoint to win the game. Little background check, check on Team Fern at the moment, but they are the previous winners of the last tournament, the first tournament we played on Rainbow Six Siege. Could this team be the, the Invincibles where they never lose a match? We'll have to see. But at the moment, three minutes remaining, but Team Boys in Blue have held off a good fight and pushed them back from it. Enemies here. 
And that is JB out. Checkpoints pushing forwards. It's on the final push. And they've reached it. And team one, team, sorry, team four, team Fern, have won this match against him. GG's to both teams, they played extremely well. But the better team won this match today. And bear with me for one second while I get the next team in. Good shit, boys. Do, do you say so, John? John A. Close game. Do you say so? Tight game. Who's your biggest threat on the opposite team, do you reckon? He's a big threat. GG's the better team won today. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you boys can back out the lobby and we'll get the next game sorted out anyways. What's happening, boys? Lovely stuff. Let me invite you guys. Uh, Curry. Unable to join. It says you're loading in right now. Yeah, Shrill's in.
Bet I got you, I got you. Aimbot damage player, yeah? Alright, cool. Hmm, well boys, um, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't feel like the High Council team will be arriving for this one, so, it's going to it's gonna have to be you boys against Aimbot Bots, which is a selection of my team, and see how you boys do it. Um, I'm not too sure. I, I, I think it might have just been um awkward time zone for all of them, them guys. But it's all good. It's all good. No, the aimbot will be random for you boys. I'll just leave it like that, boys. Um, yeah, so obviously, unfortunately, the the higher council team couldn't pull up. But luckily, we got the bots in. And we'll see how you boys perform against aimbots then. Good luck with this, boys. If you boys lose to this... This could be a free win for you boys. This could be a free win. <laughs> I would say hop in your own team VCs, but you might as well stay in here, boys. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, from what I've seen, unfortunately the High Council team couldn't pull up today um, against Team Daddy's of Thunder. So... I've just come to the decision to make it so they'll be up against aimbots instead. Um, it could potentially be a free win for AIs, but we'll have to just wait and find out. Obviously, yes, both teams of this match lost both their matches yesterday, unfortunately. Uh, Daddy to Thunder lost to the Golden Girls, and High Council lost to Team Boys in Blue. Um, so this might be a change of events, and it could either be that... High Council team could just get a win without even them turning up to their match. We'll have to find out. Hello. One. Attackers incoming. 
Stop the payload. Stand aside. Locked down. And that is Team Daddy's of Thunder taken out by the AI bots and they're pushing up with the payload. Genji's taken out Demon Hunter, but then Aiden's helped out and killed him back for an inventions. Aiden's been taken out, and we'll have a look at Bottle Job, aka Shrill. Shrew all right there? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at Demon Hunter, see how he's performing. Um, but to be honest, with 1 minute and 30 seconds remaining against AI bots, it seems like they can hold it down. Death appears. know what? Arriving oh my god. This hasn't restarted, has it? No, it hasn't. I was about to say, I got nervous for a second. So I'm not one to hop in for a team usually, but seeing as it's high council, I've got to, I've got to represent the boys. Hey, Kiriko, 
Do you do a lot of office work? No. Why? Because you always leave a paper trail. Ah. Uh. If we do this right, they won't even know what happened. Lucky with that one. Demon Hunter, mate. What are these NPCs doing? Wrong way, wrong way. Come on. No way. No way. Ah, oh, I just sold the bag for it. I just sold the bag for it. What is going on? I thought halfway through the first round, I thought these aimbots are just NPCs. Surrender to my will. Damn. See so ya? Yeah, you boys, you boys have won it against the High Council. You boys got a lucky, easy win out of this one. All good, boys. All good. No worries. No worries. Enjoy walking your fish. If you boys can leave the lobby, and then uh, I'll get the next game sorted out for the final match. Cheers, boys, for pulling up. And while we wait, we'll get the next team going, uh, which is... Team 2 Golden Girls versus Team 5 Tasmania. So let's get these boys in. What's happening, boys? Yeah. What's What's the match predictions?
none of the high council were able to pull up to it. So halfway, <laughs> halfway through round, oh, halfway through round one, it was terrible. They they didn't pull up, so I had to put aimbots in it. And halfway through round one, I thought, screw it, I'll hop in. Is it is this everyone for it or what's got or W. Alright, so Dwarf, you got anyone else? Are we bring an A man? Alright, so <laughs> That is very true. That is very true. <laughs> they completely sold it. They completely sold it. Made me look like a shit. Alright, Dwarfy, do you want an AI bot? <laughs> Boys, we're running out of time here. Eh? Running out of time here. Eh? I got I got I got a council meeting in fifteen minutes. <laughs> whoa whoa whoa! I don't have to put a bot in for you. I can just start it right now. What about tragedy? Is tragedy on?
He's not. He's not in the team. He's a free agent. What's that? Is Kakaluch got to go? Oh well, listen. If if Kakaluch has got to go, we we might as we might as well have a bot each. We might as well have a bot each. Two support bots each. Kaklu said he's got to go. That looks beautiful in my eyes. <laughs> All right, Trev. Trev, do you want a support bot or do you want? Do you want to follow Tasmania as damage? All right. This is this is more than fair. This is more than fair. All right. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Alright, so we're on our final match for the night. This is Team Tasmania in blue and Team Golden Girls in red. We've got Spark, Dwarfy the team captain, Tick Tick and Fern in Team Blue for Tasmania. And representing Golden Girls, we have Alex, Big Trev, Master Chief J, Astro World. Ready. Have a look at the team selection right here of who's playing who. So you got Kong as the tank. What's up? We've got Astro World and Trev as their DPS. And then Alex and a support bot. Hey, hello. For Tasmania, we've got Dwarfy as the tank. Spark and who's the other DP Oh yeah, they got a bot as their DPS. And then Fern as Tick Tick. Uh, Fern and Tick Tick as a support. It's the battle of who's the best tank. Dwarfy versus Kong. Dwarfy's getting no heals at the moment, whilst Kong is receiving a lot of it. So having a recap back at yesterday's matches, Golden Girls got their first win against Daddy's of Thunder, um, and Team Tasmania unfortunately lost their game against uh, Team Fern. So with the team captains back, they want to make sure that Tasmania 
to try and get their first win of the tournament. Still standing. I'm still fighting. I'm on fire. Smithereens. So it seems that team um Which team is this one again? <laughs> I forgot. Golden Girls. Team 2 Golden Girls are doing a great push up against Team Tasmania. Pushing the payload towards the first checkpoint. Get in there, Bob. Protecting you. <laughs> with a little, little remote right there. Fifteen player kill streak. And that is the first round match win. Zero to three. To uh, Team Golden Girls. Initiating match. So now this is round two, and we'll see how this one progresses. But they're going to have to do this very quickly. 
to try and secure the payload to the end. So we just had a last minute sub in. Uh, we've got Agent Panic, aka Tragedy, to help out Team Tasmania to see how this one goes. I am on the objective. Report here now. Five player kill streak with Dwarfy. The payload is progressing nicely. So it seems that Team Tasmania progressed onto their first checkpoint with five minutes ahead of their game. Uh, but to beat the other team, they've got to reach it well, with more than enough time than the opposite team, which is on two minutes and 28 seconds left. And it's currently a draw. So now it's on the overtime round. Initiating match. So this is match point at the moment. Um, team Golden Girls will have to try and see how far they can get the payload within the space of two minutes. And then we'll play the next match after, which will be Team Tasmania. 
uh, to see how far they can get their payload within 3 minutes and 21 seconds. With, with an advantage of 1 minute and 20 seconds on top, could make a massive difference. But they're going to have to hold a strong defense. After all this, I don't like having my. I'm going in. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Roll up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Astro World taking out Dwarfy, but then having to do a quick retreat to get his health back up. Fifteen seconds left and they haven't touched the payload yet. Managed to capture the payload. Let's see how far they can get it without getting defeated from this. And that is round three completed. We're going to be on the final match now. The final round, sorry, to see who will win. Team Tasmania or Team Golden Girls. Massive pressure on. But with three minutes and 20 seconds for Tasmania to try and get the payload reaching up to this point here, 20 meters. Let's see how this one plays off. Incoming. Defend objective A. I 
I'm sorry. And that is Team Tasmania securing the payload with two minutes remaining. And that is game. Team Tasmania have secured the final win of today against Team Golden Girls. Play of the game. And Agent Panic, aka Tragedy, with the play of the game. Lovely. Cool. Well, we'll end it off there anyways. Cheers for watching, boys. And next stream will be next weekend um, for round three.